Perpendicular. They form. What does perpendicular mean again? Parallel. Opposite. They cross. What? What's special about how they cross? They cross at what angle? Ninety degree angles. At ninety degree angles are a right angle. That's right. So they cross at ninety degree angles. That's important for us to remember. Okay, if you've ever flown a kite before, remember it's got like these crossbars. That's kind of how it goes. Okay. The axis of symmetry bisects this crossbar. So this would be the axis of symmetry. This this line right here, the axis of symmetry bisects this crossbar. Okay, so the longer part, this axis of symmetry bisects these two. So that would mean, again, bisect means to cut in half, where each half is congruent. So that would mean this and this are congruent to each other. So I'll fill that in a little bit. Okay. Means that those two are congruent to each other. And this also bisects these two angles. So if it comes right through here, it's going to bisect so that this angle and this angle are congruent to each other, and this angle and this angle are congruent to each other. Okay? So that's what those two rules mean for kites. Now, knowing some of that information, let's go back over to 7.2. And let's look at some of these formulas. So there's only like three or four green boxes in 7.2. And they give us formulas. They give us formulas for area. Okay? You got these written down? Ready to write? Jalen? Ready to write? Okay. Alright, so. Let's start. Which one did they give first in 7.2? Is it trapezoid, rhombus, or kite? Trapezoid. trapezoid. So the area formula for trapezoid. So I don't have as much space in here, but I'm going to try to write it. Area for a trapezoid is one half times base one plus base two. Yep. Area for a trapezoid is one half times base one plus base two. You could also see it sometimes if you like forget where it is and you end up looking it up on the internet and you're like, oh, I don't, this looks weird. A lot of times Google will say that it's like this area of a trapezoid is base one plus base two divided by two, okay? Kind of like with the area of a triangle, remember, there's kind of two ways to visualize it. However, it makes more sense for you, whatever's easier for you to put into your calculator, to your calculations, and do it. That's what I want you to do. Okay. Good. Now, uh, what what do they give next? Kite. Kites or rhombi? Kite. Kite. Okay. So kite. Again, it's similar. Okay. It's one half um, diagonal one, diagonal two. So it's multiplication, right? Am I wrong? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm right. It's just D1 times D2? Yeah. Okay. So the area of a kite is one half D1, D2. Again, you might see it sometimes as A equals D1, D2, divided by 2. Same scenario, really means the same thing. Next is rhombus. Do you notice anything similar? It's 
like the same thing as for a kite, right? What? Just turned a different way? Yeah, pretty much. Yes, ma'am. Very similar. So the area is the same. It's one half D1 times D2. Okay, one half D1 times D2. Those are our formulas. Now, look, we've got all the formulas for the areas of quadrilaterals. We've got them all, okay? Remember our, our standard, our learning goal was to be able to use geometric formulas when everything is given, okay? Yes. That was our standard. That's like lower level. That's like, you know, middle school level. What I hope to go from here, yes, I want you to be able to do that. I wanna hopefully using these rules let you fill in a couple of the blanks kind of like we were doing you guys remember we wrote in some of those blanks i want your logic what you know about geometry to fill in some of those blanks and fill in the necessary information to then use those but we're going to start off small we're going to start off with the basics so let's go over to the first few exercises in 7.2 first few exercises in 7.2 we'll see I don't know if we're going to get to the Pythagorean Theorem today. I really wanted to, but I want you to understand more than I want to get to the Pythagorean Theorem. So We're getting there. <clears throat> All right, looks like 308. Thank you, Josiah. So 308. All right. So here is just rewriting the formula. You don't have to do this. If you want to put it here that way, hey, I remember I, I wrote this somewhere. Good, cool, you can do that. Here's what I'm more concerned with. Let's practice two, three, and four, okay? Find the area of the trapezoid, kite, and rhombus. Two, three, and four, I want you to practice this. See if you can get it without my help. See how you do. Give it your best try. And then I'll write it out on the board. Just two, three, and four. Just two, three, and four. Just two, three, and four. Let's go. Yeah. 
Let's just double check. Or, sorry, it would have been in that lesson. My bad. I don't show them. I don't know, man. I don't want to know the game. I don't want to know the game. What? I mean, make sure like, inside with the mic. I don't think so. Why are you walking around? Ah, we did write the area of the trapezoid wrong. How? <coughs> Do you see this? It's a... Oh. 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 Oh.
So, if we're looking at our problem here, Okay, let's go five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. You guys got this. Let's do it. Five, six, seven. Y'all got a piece so bad. Y'all got a piece so bad. 
Yeah, you know, not saying you're crazy. Crazy. <laughs> When, when Luke gets back. Um, are all kites gonna look like that? Because you know kites aren't always just like that. It's always it's just upside down. That's all. Um, Wait, so what is this? Is this is this Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll back one page just to see something. I may have a I'm just trying to analyze what they are trying to say here. Uh, okay. So here's here's what I noticed. So you guys see um you see what they did in number four compared to number two. Yeah. In number four, they told us that this measure is four and that this measure is four. In number two, they're telling us that this is four and this is four, which would make the whole thing how much? Eight. Eight. So we did our math a little bit wrong. So it should be eight and seven. I was right. 28. My, that's my bad. I didn't realize that they're giving us two halves. I thought they were just telling us this whole line. But when when they're telling us it's the whole line, they're going to give us a clear indication that it's the whole line. So for um, six, seven, eight, I want you to notice that and apply what we just figured out. <laughs> I wasn't, bro. Are you even laughing? I wasn't laughing. Thank you. Are you so mad? Cause I wasn't laughing. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well. Okay. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. And then your second one would be.
issue. We did the reset one yard and then five feet. Can we also do seven on 18 that? inches and how is that a tight turn on that? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. different yeah. angles. See, it's kind of like a measure. really narrow trapezoid. Uh, yeah. Just so you know, the difference between five and six is so minimal that the formula to find the area is exactly the same. So you're not going to change the way that you find the area, even if you're like, is it a kite? Is it a rhombus? Is it a kite? Is it a rhombus? It doesn't really matter, actually. You find it the same way. Feet and yards. Oh, you guys, you guys just let me go and do this without. We thought you'd 
We all like to learn. I'm just following the uh, instructions. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to have to go back and work on these. All right, we're going to finish this one and we'll update. Okay. What's if we convert six inches to a foot? That's point five. That's it's point half five. A foot or point five. Point five. Yeah. yeah. All right. You don't think so? So let's go. One half. The height is two. The base. Base one would be one point five plus point five. Okay. One half times two. Is times two because one point five plus point five is two. two. The answer will be two. The answer of two. two. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back and let's convert these. Okay. So for number six, we've got two feet plus two feet is four. Eighteen inches is how many feet? 18 inches is how many feet? Did you convert it? How many feet are you? 12 inches, 16. 1.5. 1. 1. 1. 1. Okay, 1.5 plus 1.5 is? Huh? 3. Okay. About 3. So let's go back here, and instead of 36, let's do 3. I think we'll get a better idea here. Okay? So that would be 2 times 3. Which is six. six, yes, sir. Six feet squared. Six feet squared, which is um, is that thirty-six? So, so we put that feet. Is that thirty-six? I mean, probably not. I don't know. We're not doing six squared feet. We're doing six feet oh, six squared. Six so, yeah, that's right. What? Okay, let's go back to this one. We have five feet up here plus one yard. Okay, so instead of six. What should that be if we convert it to yards? What, how many Three. how many yards or how many feet in a yard? Three. 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 So how many yards is five feet? One and two thirds. One and two thirds, or we could say one point six six. That would be fine. All right. One point six six plus one. Two point six six. So we come back here. Two point six six. All right, so one half times two is one. We end up with 2.66. I'll round it up to 2.67. Okay, a little bit of a mistake. I wasn't paying attention. That happens sometimes. It's my fault for not correcting you. <laughs> yeah, that's my fault, class. I didn't blame you guys. I just wondered why no one said anything. I don't know. Hey, we're almost done here. Here's what I want you to do. This is all I want you to do about the Pythagorean theorem. Someone remind me if I don't. I, we we're supposed to cover the Pythagorean theorem today. We're not going to. This is all I want you to do. Before you put your notes away, just write down the Pythagorean theorem, okay? That's all I want you to do. Is that ABC plus B? No, no. The Pythagorean theorem. Okay. It's over there on the board. P Y T H A G O R E A N. Pythagorean. I just want you to write the formula. Okay. The formula is A squared plus B squared. Equals C squared. C squared. Yes, okay, man. that's the Pythagorean theorem. We're gonna work with that extensively next time we're in class, which for you guys I think will be Tuesday. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead and pack up your stuff. Stand by your desk.